everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about expansion path in long run and short run expansion path is a line or curve that connect all producer equilibrium points expansion path is a line or curve that connect all producer equilibrium point as we know producer equilibrium point means where isoquant line is tangent to isocos curve Here you can see on x-axis we have labor and y-axis we have capital. AB is isoquant line. IQ is isoquant curve. At E point isoquant line is tangent to isocos curve. So E will be called producer equilibrium point. Here you can see we have so many producer equilibrium point E1, E2, and E3. There is one line which is connecting all producer equilibrium point. This line will be called expansion path. because expansion path is a line or curve that connect all producer equilibrium point long run expansion path a long run expansion path is very flexible because during long time period we can change both factors of production labor as well as capital and long run expansion path mainly shows how firm can produce different level of output while keeping their cost minimum as much as possible Here you can see we are changing both factor labor as well as capital. Initially we have O L one labor and C one uh, capital. Now we change both labor from L one to L two and capital from C one to C two. Again we change both labor from L two to L three and capital from C two to C three. And there is one line which is uh, connecting our all producer equilibrium point will be called expansion path. now we will see short run expansion path as we know during short time period we cannot change all factor of production we can only change our labor but we are not able to change capital during short time period we can change only labor but we are not able to change capital in this diagram you can see this line shows long run expansion path when we can change both factor labor as well as capital but these two horizontal line shows short run expansion path when we can only change labor but we are not able to change capital here you can see our capital is constant we are only changing labor this horizontal line shows similar the second horizontal line shows our capital is constant we are increasing only our labor so these two horizontal line shows our short run expansion path now we'll see condition of expansion path every point of expansion path should satisfy this condition every point of expansion path should satisfy this condition mpl means marginal product of labor mpk means marginal product of capital suppose marginal product of labor is 10 and marginal product of capital is 5 10 over 5 is equal to 2 that means a firm can substitute two unit of capital for one unit of labor in order to maintain same level of output this part mainly shows the ratio of marginal product of labor to marginal product of capital w is a wage rate r is rental capital this part shows the ratio of wage rate to rental rate of capital and every point of expansion path should satisfy this condition that means every point of expansion path uh, ratio of marginal product of labor to marginal product of capital should equal to ratio of wage rate to rental rate of capital so these are uh, all point of expansion path and all point of expansion path should satisfy this condition so this is all about expansion path i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care